Sunday's eternal City Derby. Luca Toni, top goal scorer in the Italian League, ready to go despite ankle trouble of late. But there is trouble for Fiorentina before very long in this one. Valerie Boyanov, the man Parma pointing at. Boyanov guilty of a handball, and Parma awarded a penalty after just a couple of minutes of play in this one. Not much doubt about it. Fabio Simplicio with the PK assignment for the home side, and he makes sure he looks after that very nicely. Boyanov and Fiorentina behind, but lots of time still to go. Now, short term, all that means is more time for Parma to attack. The ball in the area spilled by Bogdan Labont. Marco Bresciano recovers. The Aussie wasting little time and pounding that loose ball home. And it's 2-0 Parma after just 19. Labont unable to squeeze it as he goes down, and Bresciano quickly finds space and then lets her rip to double the lead. But Fiorentina would fight back, not Luca Toni, but the man guilty on the opening PK call, Valerie Boyanov, getting his head to the free kick, moving the visitors to within a single goal. The youngster is fired up, and he's trying to inspire his mates. This will help Manuel Pascal with the kick, Boyanov with the quick to get to it before anybody else. And then 2-1 Parma becomes 2-2 when Boyanov bags his second of the match to level things. This is quite smooth. He notched the goal of the week this past week. Now he's brought his team back from two down on the road. Luca Bucci beaten there and then left to wonder what happened to that 2-0 lead. Where'd it go? Speaking of leads, Fiorentina will gain their first of the match not long after the second gets underway. Luca Toni with the pass. It's laid off for a shot. Bucci, he gets a piece of it, but the play is still alive. Allowing Fiorentina to keep the pressure on. Bucci doing well to make a second save, but he's not going to stop the third. Martin Jorgensen makes it 3-2 Viola. Three straight goals to erase the 2-0 deficit in a critical game. And the guest capped things off with one more. Luis Jimenez with the finishing touch. 4-2 Fiorentina. And that's going to do it. Four straight tallies equaling three big points for the visitors. Ten consecutive wins by Roma, and quite the scene at the Stadio Olimpico Sunday prior to this one getting underway. Tati came out well before his team and was given an ovation by the fans, the Italian media covering everything from the captain's first request after coming out of his anesthetic, which was pizza, to the tearful apology by Empoli defender Richard Vanigli for the tackle that broke his ankle. Even opponent Paolo Di Canio throwing his support behind the Italian international for a speedy recovery. The man replacing Tati in the lineup, Vincenzo Montella. He has Roma on the attack in the eighth minute. Lays the ball off for Simeone Parotta, but his shot from distance lacks pace and accuracy and bounces harmlessly wide. Four minutes later, Lazio back the other way through Valon Rami. He crosses in for Tommaso Rocchi, and his volley hits the post and rolls out. And a great chance for Lazio. Another look at it as... Rocky comes across the defense, had the opening between Donny and the post, but can't get it to go. At the half hour mark, Roma set up for the corner kick, Alessandro Mancini, the delivery, and Rodrigo today heads it in past Angelo Peruzzi, and Roma have themselves the lead up 1-0, and it's Bedlam. Just moments before the set piece, Lazio had to make a substitution. That may have played a part in some poor marking. Today at the near post, and a great delivery by Mancini, today's fifth of the season. And Tati up to celebrate. And that was the only goal of the opening half. Early in the second, the Giela Rossi getting away with one as ref Matteo Trefoloni misses the handball. Alberto Aquilani, the guilty party, but no call. Lazio, the good chance to equalize just past the hour. Rocky, the ball up for Bonani. He crosses in, but Berami and Decanio cannot get to it as Donnie smothers it. And Decanio feeling some frustration. Just seconds after that missed chance, Roma heap more misery on the host. Mancini into the box, dances, then lays off for Aquilani, and the 21-year-old makes no mistake as he puts a second goal past Peruzzi. 2-0 for Roma. Mancini setting the table with the moves around Kribari, and Aquilani keeps it low. And Peruzzi may have gotten the slight touch. Last decent chance for Lazio in the 82nd. Direct freebie for Massimo Odo, but he sends it over the net. Paulo Di Canio shows his feelings on the bench. Nothing more from here except celebrations for Roma and Francesco Totti, the captain waving the flag for a new Serie A record, 2-0 the final in the Rome Derby for an 11th straight win for the Giello Rossi. Though I can't say for sure, I'm pretty confident Juventus home games rarely take a backseat to anything else in the sporting scene in Turin. However, Sunday, you could excuse a few folks for being distracted by the other goings on in town. After all, it's not every day you have an Olympic closing ceremony taking place just around the corner. But while many saluted the games of ice and snow one last time, others were keen to see how league-leading Juventus would fare at home to Lole Lecce. Juve looking to end a less than spectacular month of February with a win as they look to put Champions League disappointment behind them.
Pavel Nedved and the Bianco Neri looking for a repeat of last season's three-goal win at home to Lecce. But things don't start out all that well for the home side. Lecce attacking with pace and quicker than you can say, Gennaro Del Vecchio. Gennaro is headed across past Gigi Buffon. one nothing Lecce. Alfonso Camerani with the ball in, and Del Vecchio knows just what to do. Nicely putting it away. There is nothing Gigi could have done on that sequence. Then Manueli Blasi becomes Manueli Bloody after taking an elbow, and the midfielder's day is done. Juve looking for positives. They'll find one here. Adrian Mutu to Emerson, and this one directly to the top ten, I would guess. Terrific goal, and it's a 1-1 game. Emerson's first of the season is a dandy. Watch the Brazilian use his imagination and his athleticism, and when he does, he ties the score. 1-1 nearly becomes 2-1 Juve. Bang, bang, play late in the period. Pavel Nedved denied by the keeper. Alessandro Del Piero denied by the fact that the woodwork got in the road, but he was offside. Interesting sequence showing how the hosts were starting to come on in this one, though. Minutes before the break, forget coming on. They are getting it done. Robert Kovac heading the Mutu free kick in for his first of the season. Juve with their first lead of the match. Things go from bad to worse for Lecce early in the second. Alfonso Camerani given his second yellow of the game for this exchange with Zlatan. Ten-man Lecce eventually breaking down. Pavel Nedved clipped in the area, sending Juventus to the spot. Alessandro Del Piero there, and he takes care of business. 3-1 Juventus completing the scoring in their win over Lecce. To the Stadio Barbera for Mariano Andujar and Palermo home to AC Milan. Pippo and Zaghi getting set for the opening kickoff. Milan looking to avenge recent Coppa Italia thrashing at this venue. And this is how they'd have to uh, make things tough on their host. Kaká with a good look at goal. Andujar with a save. And a great defensive play by Christian Zaccardo breaks things up. At the other end, Palermo with a chance of their own. David Di Michele wide open in front. Check out Jelko Kalic's reaction, though. Huge save from the Aussie keeper, filling in for the injured Nelson Dida. Di Michele with a lot of room, but Kalic will get a foot to the shot and keep it out of the cage. Late in the first half, Di Michele looking to make amends for the miss, setting up Andrea Caracciolo, but again, Kalic is there. Alessandro Costa-Curta tidying things up after that. 0-0 then and into the second. But in the second, AC Milan showing promise. Yapstam crossing for Andrei Shevchenko. Sheva takes and then Sheva will strike his shot just off the target. The Ukrainian coming also close to his 15th on the season. Milan not willing to wait as a team though. Johan Vogel picking out Filippo Inzaghi and Pippo pops one past the keeper and in. one nothing. AC in the lead. Inzaghi with a perfectly played header to put his team out in front in this affair. Mariano Andujar then putting his team in trouble with a takedown in the area, drawing a penalty kick call. The dot shot giving the guests a terrific chance at an insurance marker, and Andrei Shevchenko makes sure they seize that chance. 2-0 Milan. They get the three points and a little Copa revenge right along with it.